So, um, while we're at it, I mean, this setup is pretty neat. I can also show you um, how to work with the transform menu, which is located under Alt 5. Um, entering the menu, you see transpose, you'll see time shift, and you'll see scale. Um, the scale is working together with the menu length, Alt 1. Maybe you remember you can set a scale here, like chromatic, major, minor, Dorian, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, and by engaging this scaled flag on a track, it will play in that scale. Um, the reason why we did this per track is because, well, perhaps you want this and this for melody and you want to play them scaled, but maybe these are made for drum tracks and you want don't want drum tracks scaled because you'll probably get different drum sounds mapped on the keys. So that's why we made it this way. Um, well, let's start at the beginning then. I'll I've recorded actually a little thing here on um, the menu number four, which I can play back. Um, I've worked with the velocity like this. And um, well, if I want to transpose, I go to Alt 5 and I can press a small increment with Alt Inc. Like this. I can go back down with Alt Deck. And I can also type a number like an octave up. And if I want to go to a negative number, I press deck first and then 12 for an octave down. Well, that's about it for transpose. And um, well, now I can also show you the time shift. And um, well, for that, maybe it's good to have a little beat together with this again. Well, I can show you how to make a, a quick drum beat here. I go to quarter note, first step, kick, loop, go. So, now we have our kick done already. Um, well, actually... Must be... Yeah. I had here as well. So. I can also use that velocity scaling from menu 4. You see, you can hear a little difference. Well, and now as for the time shift, I can copy this track with that little melody here to track number 2. And now it will play double, you don't hear it. But when I go into time shift alt 5 to the right i can select a time shift on this digit i can also go like double tap for duplets triplets and i can combine it with velocity modifiers like Now I've made a, a little MIDI delay actually. And then we come to another part of the transpose. It's also you can do a key transpose on this. Um, I'll stop it for that because um, this needs a bit more explanation. Uh, you can set a transpose value to like a fixed value like 12 notes of 12 notes yeah but you can also press 99 and then it will change into performance mode i can also do that on the other track and if you put the rk8 in performance mode it you can uh, transpose a selected track to a midi key so you see when i go here it says performance mode track 00, zero of transpose 00, zero and be beat 7 well um, in order for this to work, you first need to set a MIDI channel for the RKA to respond to. You can do that in Alt 9, the system menu, and go to MIDI setup. And I see here that I've set the remote channel to channel 16. So now when I change the key step to channel 16, and I look at the performance mode, you can see that whenever I 
press a key here it will change the transpose number so when I play this well like this you can also exclude tracks from this performance transpose of course uh, I just set it back to zero again this one is still in performance and now only one will like this well that's actually in the transpose menu so uh, well combine it with uh, the filter for velocity and stuff you can do uh, nice real-time modifications and also uh, yeah if you've made like a MIDI delay with the trans transform time shift you can also just go merge mix down two tracks and now it's rendered into a track you can hear the same stuff and you have uh, more tracks left so um, I hope you like this uh, let's uh, experiment and uh, on to part six which is the quantize menu